A talonavicular fusion is illustrated here through an anteromedial approach in order to facilitate addressing any ankle pathology. The incision is centred on the anterior tibial tendon with careful dissection of the extensor retinaculum. The approach to the joint is performed either medially or laterally to the tendon, depending on the foot pre-op deformity. After locating the medial ankle gutter, the joint is exposed by sharp dissection and retractors are positioned along each side of the joint. Joint release is performed and extended either medially or laterally, depending on the foot deformity. Threaded 3.2mm joysticks are positioned on the lateral part of the wound to help distract, position and compress the joint along the procedure. The distractor is used first to expose the joint. Joint preparation is completed with a high-speed burr in order to preserve as much bone as possible. Once the cartilage is removed, the subchondral plate is drilled or scaled to achieve bleeding surfaces. The distractor is then removed and replaced with a hinged compressor while positioning the forefoot in relation to the hindfoot. The joint is then compressed and stabilised with two 1.5mm K wires. One should make sure to avoid the neighbouring joints while drilling. And if bone defect is present, one should put the screw on the healthiest side in order to achieve some living bone-to-bone -bone compression before filling the defect with bone chips. A 3.5mm lag screw is placed percutaneously on the distracted side, depending on the pre-op deformity. Here the foot was flat, so it is on the medial side. Once compression is obtained, threaded pins are removed and a dorsal 35 perilock utility plate helps complete stabilising the joint. Here again, make sure to avoid the neighbouring joints both from the screws in the subtalar joint and from the plate itself impinging on the ankle joint.